So today I'm going to be explaining how you can get the first, um, the top area, top section, the first layer of the Rubik's Cube completed. Let's go. So starting off, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find all these white edge areas in the middle and you're going to need to get them on to the yellow so um, i have one here already but you can't have this here so we're going to do that we're going to keep doing this wait there on there let's do something like that do that now i'm going to spin this around this is spin as well and this and now that's all good you're going to the white areas are going to line the second color up with the thing. You're going to do this on all sides, and then you're going to spin it like that. Okay. You're going to keep doing this until you have all of them have been lined up like that. Now that you've done that, this next step is a bit more confusing and can take longer. Basically, what you're going to do is See these white corner pieces that are around, scattered around? You're going to, so you see this second colour here? It is green, you're going to line it up with green, and this orange will be on the top. Now, you're either going to go like, so you're probably going to go like one, you either go one, two, three, four, or you go one, two, three, four. I generally like going up it and then in first, because that seems to generally work better. So let's try and get it all together. We'll do one step like that, and it should all line up eventually. I'll show you one manually, and then I'll show you the rest after. So lined up here doesn't have to be all perfectly lined up. So we're gonna have this coming first, and we're going. So we're gonna start with this. One. We're gonna do this. No, um, green and orange. That's not gonna work either. So you do these. So if you can't get a line up, you're going to get the green on the orange, and the orange on the green, and so on and so forth. So let's try it. But I have some kind of scissors. And just like that, you have it lined up like that. Really easily. And that, that lined up. Let's do one more, and then I'll skip through the rest. Okay, here you have this, and we're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it can get a bit confusing, but one, two, three, four, and that's all lined up just like that. Okay, and I'll now finish these last two, and I'll see you soon. Just know something? I'm thinking maybe if it's on a different side, like if you have one on this side, you go in like that. Or if you have it on this side, you go in like that. Okay, let's see if I'm correct when I do this. And I am. It actually lined up straight away. I'm probably not actually going to have to skip through. But we'll do this last one together now. And let's do this. So we're going to go. This is getting confusing. And there we go. We have the first face completed. Everything lined up just like that. So, we're all good. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And William out.